We are in the process of reinstalling the African collections in a new exhibition entitled African Innovations. And this is a new conceptual approach to the, the African collection. We are installing for the first time chronologically and contextually. The previous installations had been a sort of geographic focus and this will instead start with uh, some of the, our ancient material here dating from archaeological works up until the 1800s, including our wonderful Benin Hornblower, and then proceed through the 19th and 20th centuries, ending with our new contemporary pieces at the end of the installation. When we first started talking about Africa, um, the concept was that the storyline was going to be linear. It was going to be pre-1800 to today. And in terms of color, we wanted something that felt warm. So. Um, We've worked with this pale yellow. I kind of first got an inkling for the pale yellow when I was in, I was traveling in Cameroon in March, which was right before we were beginning the design process. And I kept looking around for colors. And one of the ones that I saw a lot was this pale yellow, and it always looked beautiful. So um, when I started meeting with Kevin Michelle, I said, what about this? <laughs> and so we kind of tweaked it a bit and um, it looks really beautiful with wood. I'm hoping that, that we can look at, I mean, on one level that we can see Af African art as being part of a long um, history of progression and change and adaptation, and particularly to look at African art as having this sort of intellectual content to it, that this, this is art that was created to solve problems. And that, I mean, this is where the inspiration for the title came from, that these are innovative, new, exciting ideas to confront problems that we all face.